morning. Oh, let me get in front of the light. Oh, good morning. Ooh. Today is the 3rd of December. We're going to go and see Father Christmas. I'm wearing the same outfit as the last time I saw Father Christmas. Although it is a little bit baggy, I've noticed in the back it gapes and it could do with just being taken in the back panel only. The front seems to fit still really well, but actually just at the top and nothing on the waist, I think. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but it could be could be done. Um, yeah, I don't know why I want to wear the same thing. I don't really have anything particularly Christmassy other than this outfit. Which is not intentionally Christmassy, but um, somehow I only want to wear it around the festive season because people f call me Mrs. Claus when I wear this. Yep. Anyway, uh, it's at our local garden centre. They're having a Christmas fair thing, so I invite. I have invited my friend, who is essentially Lila's godmother. We call her Auntie Katie. Uh, in my family, we don't really say Auntie or Uncle. You just use someone's first name, even if it is your actual aunt or uncle. You wouldn't say uncle when addressing them. I know lots of people do, but Auntie Katie's family do. And not just to someone who is auntie or uncle, but to anyone who is like close to the family and would be like an auntie or uncle figure. So I'm super happy for her to be called Auntie Katie and for Lila to have that. I think that's really sweet. Um... She doesn't have any children, she doesn't want any children, but she's such a good Auntie Katie. So I've invited her to come and she has agreed. I invited her for messy church as well tomorrow, but she said it sounds like she might be worried about her outfit. <laughs> With all these messy kids. Fair point. I will also be worried about my outfit and will be running from my own small child. There we are. Um, yeah, so we're going to go. Let's hope that we all get in because I booked tickets for Santa, but not for the fair. So I don't know. It was very cool. Some websites are brilliant and some websites for these slightly old fashioned things like garden centres are shocking. Shocking. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Tot orange. So yeah, we're going to drive there and... Um, Lila has got on her little romper that I made from a Rainer and Bear pattern and then she's wearing her Kensai bonnet which I made also which is the matching for the cardigan I was showing you yesterday but with no embroidery and that was a really easy knit. Um, I just slightly stretched it out on the ribbing that goes around the head I don't know why I did that. I remember stretching the thing out while I was blocking it and I don't think it needed to be. And now that edge sits away, but it's not a super soft wool. So maybe it's better that it doesn't cling to her head. Talking about itchy, this hat is fuzzy and beautiful, but it itches like hell. Oh, I don't know what it's made of. It might, what's that bunny rabbit one? One that's made of bunny. Oh, you'll see me and I'll, I'll keep putting my finger up inside the ribbing and just like rubbing it. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to get going. Jason is worried that we're going to be late for Santa. You can't be late for Santa. That's much better lighting. What a lovely day. I hope she doesn't cry. My sister used to cry. Uh, I really hope she doesn't cry. My sister would always cry when she sat on Father Christmas's knee and then in the Polaroid pictures that we would take home, I would be smiling so smugly and she'd be like, ah! It was very interesting to watch. Uh, okay, let's go. How old are you? One and a half. One and a half. Halves are always very important when you're There we are. There we are. No, Jackie, she has. <laughs> this is what you have to do. Yes. Yes. And, and, and do you know what you want for Christmas? Like a doll. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Or, uh, or some sweets. Oh, sweeties and chocolates. Mm. We've been enjoying our advent calendar, do you haven't like we? Chocolate? Every day before breakfast. Mm. Before breakfast, before that's breakfast. good. 
And does she eat her breakfast then? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Visiting Father Christmas was interesting. It went a little bit awry, but she really liked the book. So, kind of a win? Um, kind of a win? Never mind. That was fine, and she um, really liked the, swing, the uh, slide after. So, moving on. Uh, yesterday... I have embroidered this and it was easy it was much easier than I thought it would be and then I've trimmed the paper back um, I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do the other half and then I can soak it and do the buttons I'm gonna see if I can just soak the front and leave the rest dry because it takes ages to dry in my house there we are uh, the easiest was actually the satin stitch which are these just wrapping the yarn around that was easy uh, the french knots were a little bit trickier you had to really tug the yarn to get it through um, these lazy daisy stitches were tricky to get looking nice you have to get the right kind of tension um and i kind of think that these look a bit messy to be honest this is split stitches going down um and then you've got the lazy daisies after so i was doing i started off doing a few of the split stitches until i got to a leaf and then i'd do a lazy daisy then i'd continue with one or two more of the split stitch and then do a lazy daisy anyway i did that for one and then the other one i did all of the slips uh, all of the split stitches and then i just went back on myself and um did the lazy daisies after and either way is fine i did jump between sometimes I've jumped between those two when I've done these big ones I've cut the yarn oh, I did this one and this one with the same yarn I think those two are the same yarn as well I didn't tie it off you still want a bit of stretch through it anyway I'm really happy with that I'm happy with the color <clears throat> I'm hoping it's gonna look really beautiful I have noticed it's not perfectly symmetrical both sides I have been a bit slapdash with it but I kind of don't mind that really it's only ever so slightly off and the embroidery is already going to look slightly different because it's by hand so we'll see how it goes I could have cut them out closer like this is and placed them but I actually wanted the hoop <clears throat> to be fully enclosed with the plastic I didn't want to be kind of distorting the knitting by pulling it tight on these areas that are blank and then do you see what I mean I wanted to have that taut like tight as a drum across the entire thing and it's more difficult to place whereas this is more much easier to line up I don't know if you need to use a hoop but I found the hoop using very easy so I'm just going to finish this one off um, and then I'll do some more of my knitting I'm currently watching uh, I think it's called Wednesday Adams it is definitely like a young adult teen type thing and I like that I like young adult things 
yeah it's kind of at my like level <laughs> my intelligence level kind of stopped at that age it's easy to watch a little bit Good morning. Oh, oh, don't fall down. I'm giving the kitchen a once over because I'm going to make some pickles. Let's make some pickles. And then I, I think I don't have enough lemons for the lemons, but that's fine. I am going to wash the whole sink. Then I'm going to layer up all of my sliced onions and cucumbers and leave them to soak for three hours. You have to layer them with salt. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like everything just needs a deep clean. I'm feeling that for December and today it's the sink area. And then I'm going to mess it up with this vinegary mix. Um, nice and easy. It's a Delia recipe and I love Delia. I am suspicious of Delia though sometimes. Her hands are too clean. Like her fingers are, they're just too clean. And when she tastes things, she doesn't do like a Nigella, like, and taste it. She's got like a little tasting spoon and she'll like, do a little tasting spoon. It's too clean. <coughs> Honestly. I thought while I was doing some cooking, Lila could do some cooking. It always seems like the best idea. Let me show you. Are we doing some sensory play? Yeah? What are you cooking? You've got haricot beans, risotto rice and lentils. Yeah, you fill that nicely. We do this only when Daddy is not here. And she loves it. But goodness gracious me, does she make a mess? Oh. Dear me. She likes it, that's the main thing. It is a grey day out there today. 
very grey. Look how tidy my kitchen is. Here is one side of my kitchen. Here is the other side of the kitchen. And here is the door. That's it. That's the kitchen. The whole kitchen. Tiny kitchen. But seeing as I'm the one that cooks, it fits me quite nicely. It's also very low. It's very low. You've got to be careful not to hit your head on that. Well, not me. It's not that, though. Jason will whack his head. He has to walk around. <laughs> so let's make some pickles today. And they take, I think they take a few weeks to mull. You fill in that saucepan. Fill it. Oh, good girl. Nice, nice saucepan. Good filling. Yeah. Can I have some? Put some in mummy's hand. Oh, thank you. Bit more. Ooh, bit more. Ooh. Good girl. So this is the recipe we're doing. Sweet pickled cucumber slices. Marvellous pickle to serve as an accompaniment to plain grilled fish or cold cuts, or best of all, with pate and toast as a snack. I've lit some atmospheric candles because it's so dark. <laughs> and um, I've got quite a lot of candles and I don't use them. So let's get out the candlesticks. Got all my stuff I need. So I need three large cucumbers. I've got two large cucumbers and then I've also got um, a packet of small ones just for variation. Mm, I've got the salt, white wine vinegar, brown sugar, turmeric. I leave out the cloves, going to be honest, and mustard seeds. I like this served with on the side of cheese on toast or with a ham sandwich. Ooh, sorry. There is a really versatile thing, super easy to make. Uh, when can I eat it? What does it say here? So I know I've got to slice everything, put onions, um, onions and cucumbers, sprinkling with salt between the layers, place a plate on, press it down with something heavy. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Boil the spice vinegar mixture. Seal the jars and label when called. Store for a month before serving. So I don't know if those would be ready for Boxing Day. This would be quite nice to eat on Boxing Day. I will have a jar for myself, so I will taste it before I give it away and see if they're ready. If not, I'll put a note when that you can open it. So I'm just going to slice everything up. Everything in this colander under here and um, the liquor set pan is just empty but I'm just using it as a weight oh oh dear Jason he didn't do a good job cleaning that one did he anyway uh, I don't know if you can see but some liquid is starting to run run out um, Yep, so a couple of hours, I put that at 10.30, 10 12.30, 3 o'clock it'll be ready. And then I will be able to cook it. I think it takes five minutes to cook. Sorry, I just tied my hair back while I was cooking. Um, yeah, I think it takes like five minutes to cook and then you just boil the liquid a little bit longer. put Lila to bed and I wanted to show you my finished little embroidery project so <gasps> Ta -da! how beautiful is this oh I am mega happy 
I could not be more happy. <sighs> they look beautiful. They're both quite woolly wools. So that is now ready for Lila for Christmas. Uh, buttons are all on. I soaked it yesterday. I showed you in a video. I'm sure you'll have seen that now. Only thing is, if you look closely, the left and right are not even. Now, these are quite even. This outside is quite even. This is where you see they're not even. Now, I don't it doesn't bother me to be honest because it's a ha it's like a scattering of flowers. There's no real grid or pattern to it, so I don't mind that. It would in future be beneficial um maybe to have matched up in like three or four outside edges, which I didn't do. I did it by eye. But yeah, I'm happy with it and it further distracts from the fact that these edges are not the same colour. So that's the Kensai cardigan, really beautiful, really happy with that. Now I also have, this will be for her Christmas, one of her Christmas presents. I'm going to try every year to make her a cardigan or jumper for Christmas. This is the second Christmas. We are currently on plan for that. I've also made her out of the same wool but the four ply version a Karen bonnet by I think it's Petite Knits <clears throat> it's this beautiful textured pattern actually really easy to do and this is the biggest size I knit her one I think a week or two before which was the one smaller second to biggest and it does still fit, but this one, because it's that bit bigger, it covers over the head and then it, the opening is like a little bit smaller because the distance of how much the head covered, like it's a longer distance. <clears throat> this distance is a bit longer, so it covers more of her face and then she ends up with a smaller opening. Whereas the smaller size is, this part is smaller, so it comes up higher on her face and it is meant to come up higher um, I like to style it with just pulling a little bit of her hair out because she's, she's quite a high forehead I mean this just sounds ridiculous so I think it breaks it up nicely just to pull that wisp of hair across but with this one because it comes down lower I can just scoop all her hair back and put it on and I think it still looks nice obviously it actually doesn't matter I try and do put her together to look like someone cares. Do you know what I mean? I just want her to I want her to look like mummy has put in a bit of effort and um but she's loved. And that is so stupid to say, because obviously she is, but when we go out and about, she does get stopped quite often with her little woolen things and People do make lovely compliments to her and she's very interactive. She likes to stop to talk to people and give them a leaf or a twig or something. And um, she loves strangers. She loves people, which is why I was very surprised about Father Christmas yesterday. But what can you do? It was super quiet in the room and um, it was kind of a bit of a weird place to walk into for her. Um... And you are quite rushed as well when you go. Last year when we went to one where you could walk through, it was outside and you walked along this lovely path. There was all these bits and bobs to see, different characters and stuff. So it was very interactive and um, all the kids seemed to really enjoy that. It didn't matter for her last year, she was too small. But then Father Christmas was like the last one and then you just continued on the path to leave. Maybe that would have worked a bit better for her. Because going into like a big cupboard to sit on a man's lap is a bit actually a bit strange I think we just take it for granted that that's really normal I grew up with that I was never afraid but maybe it is a bit bizarre for a small child anyway I really like these bonnets they I haven't I don't block them but I could probably block it out bigger so maybe I'll wait until it's dirty and then block it and then 
wash and block it when it's dirty and then it will have grown a little bit as she has grown but yeah super cute i didn't make the little channel i just added some ribbing and i essentially cast on some stitches onto my needles picked up along the edge here and then cast on some more and just ribbed that whole length in one by one ribbing and then cast it off with a no not with a stretchy bind off it's not a stretchy bind off it's just a standard bind off anyway she does look very cute in it she's wearing this one already actually i'm she's not waiting for christmas oh it's so cute don't i look lovely don't i look lovely see what i mean you just want a little wisp of hair there just a little it's very warm and this this yarn wasn't scratchy same wool as this same color they came out this they're, they're super similar in color actually the, the texture makes it look a bit different i suppose anyway so that's not a christmas gift that was just that was just an everyday gift that's now ready to go and maybe i will put a nice pile together and at the end of vlogmas i can show you all the things that i made and we can just recap uh yeah definitely worth doing the thing i liked most about this part of the craft you can jazz up a super simple knit i even think this super plain knit with the same color embroidery would give a really nice texture and you would only notice the embroidery close up but i think that would be nice particularly in a rustic yarn on a simple project rather than the contrast i like that you can do it on a second hand jumper or on something that's old and tired and you can give it a new lease of life you could also incorporate beading like in there wouldn't it be nice little pearls or beads of some sort so i think good craft to to do and I would do this cardigan for a boy as well. Maybe having either have it plain or maybe some leaf embroidery, not the flowers. I mean, I would put flowers on a boy, but most people wouldn't, I know. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with with this final, final outcome. And I will try this again, I think. It was definitely worth doing. Uh, the product that I used, that transferring stuff, it did work. It was fine. It was not difficult to sew through. It was just hard to um, to line up the two sides because it's slippery plastic. I do have some more fabric feeling stuff that looks more like, um, you know, that paper interfacing. It's like a pulp. It's made from a pulp. So it's not woven fabric. It's um, similar to like felt. But very fine. It's white. Some of them are, uh, I think, sticky on the back. The one I've got is not. You still tack it in place but because it's fabric it won't slide and that was the biggest thing that i faced that's why these are not um they're not in in line is it was so it was quite slippery once it was in place then it was fine and i did notice it was slightly off after i'd stitched it down but i just left it uh what other things did i like about using that or oh, definitely rough side down against touching the, the yarn because it grips a little bit definitely drawing on the shiny side because it goes on nicer and it dissolved so quickly in water i dunked it in and it literally melted before my eyes it felt tacky the, um it left like a residue and then i just kind of swirled it for a two three four five something and it's gone that was it there were, it didn't need to soak for ages some of my pens aqua pens I'll, I'll draw on fabric when I'm doing embroidery, then I need to soak it. That sometimes takes a little while to fully leave the fabric, because if I take it out too soon, it reappears. But this, really nice, no transfer of my my ballpoint pen. So, yeah. That's plenty of talking about um, that one project. I'm going to start cleaning some jars and just setting them aside so that they're ready to go later. And I'm going to use some gooby gone, goo gone stuff to take off any residue from the labels. And those will be done. I'll be able to put them in the jars, seal them, and then I'll probably do the labels on another day. And I'll label 
everything I've made at the very end, I imagine. There is more cucumber than I thought there was going to be. As I was buying cucumber yesterday, I bought three, two large cucumbers and one small cucumber. At uh, one packet of small, which I thought would be equivalent. Equivalent. Um, I was looking at it thinking, mm, it's not very really much. And uh, I'm really glad I didn't buy double because I did consider it. But um, it wouldn't have fit in my colander. My colander is, is pretty full. I think it's just enough. Then I need to write a list of who I'm going to gift which preserves to once they're done. Not everyone will like them. I know my uncle and aunt will like all of them. I know my friend doesn't eat cucumber because something is in it that she, she can't consume. Uh, a chemical that's in cucumbers, naturally occurring, she can't consume that. So she won't have that, but she'll have, she'd have preserved lemons and marmalade. But then some of my other people to gift to, I just don't know. I don't know if my sister-in-law is going to want those things. Or my mother-in-law. She doesn't eat, I don't think she eats marmalades and sweet things. She's very, very good with her diet um, of what she can, she eats very clean, very clean. Um, and I just eat what I want. They're all very nice things. Maybe I'll ask people. We're not children waiting for Father Christmas. I'm sure I can just ask. Look, do you want any of these things I'm making? If not, no hard feelings. That is all. I'm going now. See you later.